Our topic is when you are overlooked. My friends, is there any time people who you trusted and loved, who you considered the most trustworthy, overlooked your feelings and anxieties? Or is there any time you were shocked and disappointed just because your spouse did not even wait to hear your side? Your tears, listen your words and understand your feelings rather left you alone to suffer, left you alone to cry and left you alone to feel the pain and agony? Or is there any time your work officer overlooked at your hard work and ignored to appreciate at your reasonable achievements? Our devotion comes to us from Galatians chapter 1 verse 10. Obviously, I'm not trying to win the approval of people, but of God. If pleasing people were my goal, I would not be Christ's servant. My dear brothers and sisters, feeling like you are overlooked more often than being actually seen can take a real toll on your self-esteem. No one likes to be ignored, particularly when you feel like you are not getting the recognition you deserve. You can cope with feeling overlooked by taking responsibility for your role, taking steps to become more noticeable and caring for yourself. The question for today is, how can you stop being overlooked or how can you stop being neglected. Bible motivates you with three passages. Number one, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 12. Do it for you. My friends, stop working so hard to get noticed. Instead, do it because you feel a sense of pride from it. Feeling good about yourself and the work you are doing can build your confidence and self-esteem. Over time, having this increased sense of pride in yourself could affect your personality and appearance, which could ultimately make you more noticeable. Your life is just for once, my friends. Live for your joy and happiness. Live for your life to its fullness. Let your life be a legacy after you. Don't waste your lifespan by just worrying and feeling anxieties. Number two, 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5. Examine your abilities. My friends, you may think you are always the best person for the job, but are never asked to do it. It could be because you are not as well equipped for it as you think you are. Humility and honesty can be difficult pill to swallow. However, they may help you understand why you are often overlooked. You can determine if your skills are lacking by asking the person what you can do to improve. If they can't offer any constructive criticism, there is a good chance you have an inaccurate opinion of your skills. Number three, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, 9 and 10. Take advantage of your rejection. My dear brothers and sisters, the third step to take overtake the rejection is taking advantage of your rejection or overlook. My friends, rejection is simply the rejection or opinion of another. Rejection is powerless without your own cooperation. Rejection reveals those persons incapable of distinguishing your personal worth. Rejection is a guide leading you, are, uh, leading you away from dead-end relationship while directing you towards healthy and positive relationship. How you respond to rejection reflects your self-worth. Never be disturbed when people overlook or reject you. Your Jesus 
is always with you and he will never leave you nor forsake you. Here is the hope for you from Isaiah 41 verse 10. So don't fear for I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Let's pray. Heavenly God, we have come to the end of the 11th month. There is one more month to go to complete this year. However, dear Lord, still there is somebody here passing through difficult times, passing through stressful moments. People overlook them. People don't understand their feelings. People don't want to stand to support them. But please, dear Lord, you help them. You motivate them. You encourage them so that they will be strong, brave to face the challenges. Thank you so much, dear Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.